How my cupcakes? How my skulls? It's me, Cupcake, and I'm here with a free clothes haul. It's not gonna be as jumbo size as my last one. It's gonna be kind of small. I do have a few things, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in. First thing is this flannel shirt. This is the flannel shirt that I told you my brother-in-law gave me. I recently found it. So flannel plaid, whatever you wanna call it. This will be a future whole DIY that I'm going to be doing in a few months. The next thing I got was this purse. It's like a dark green with like a hint of blue. Kind of like alligator skin imitation. I don't, I'm not going to keep this. It's not like my style. I'm probably going to give this to my godchild or I'm just going to donate it. I'm not really sure yet, but it is a nice purse. I just think my purse is bigger and like designer or black. Next thing I got was this tank top. This is a Razorback and it's a coral color and it has a white anchor on it. It did have like this mint colored bow on the back. You can see where it was, but I don't know what happened. And they got the person that had the shirt, it got ripped off somehow. They just didn't like it and cut it. I don't know, but we'll be wearing this soon. I got another coral colored. This is a long sleeve night shirt. This is from Walmart. It did come with jam pants, but the girl did not give them to me. But that's fine with me. When it does get cold, I will have that for like sleepwear. But right now, it's way, way too hot to be wearing it. Yes, I am hot in this shirt. But like I said in my last video, well, my make my video just uploaded. I was showing like up close and personal. I was showing a lot of cleavage, and I'm not trying to show cleavage on youtube like no so i'm wearing this to cover everything up next thing i got was this like soft black and white polka dot shirt it does remind me of disney for some reason like the first time i saw it i saw like the big circle and the two like right here that thought it was like mickey but it's not it is like this it's coral and it's this really pretty light light silver and black I'm not going to be keeping this. This is way too small. It's also super, super low cut, so it'd be shown a lot. So, no. We're not even going to go there. This is the brand's from, name is Day Trip. But it, like I said, it's small. and ain't going to fit me. Next thing I've had for a while now, but since this is like a free clothes haul, I decided why not to show it. I did wear this in my parade outfit of the day my black tutu. I do love black and I like tutus. So. Next thing I got was it says faded men's shirt but I don't care. Let me show you that back real quick first. It has skulls on it. It has like a, like a dagger going down it. It has angel wings on the back, lower back with flowers. It's just really cool. And it's got another dagger kind of going over it. And so I can see a quick overall look. And then the front has words across the chest. It's got another like cross. Yeah, it's a cross. With skulls and roses and angel wings. Right there. And flowers. And I'll plan on doing a DIY of this. You know those shirts that cut down here and it's all laced up? I plan on doing that to the shirt. Now, if y'all want my take on it, as I say, huh, let me put in this here real quick. Polish off for a second. Sorry about that. But yeah, if y'all want my take on it, give me a big like or leave it in the description box. I mean, Comment section say yes, I want to see a video. If not, then a future video I'll be wearing a shirt like that. Next thing was I got this gray shirt. This is another shirt from my If I already showed this in my big haul, I do apologize. But this is a shirt my brother in law gave me. It's gray and it has like this navy blue belt crest on it. 
and I think it's gonna be really cute with some like black skinny jeans and like some like kind of comeback style boots or even my knee high boots who knows maybe I'll wear this in a future outfit today for when it gets like freezing cold but that won't be any time soon I can tell you all that because it's like so hot okay now quick disclaimer if bras freak you out or you don't want to hear anything about it you might want to skip swords a little bit past this video so I got a bra your girl gave it to me it's white and it has like this really pretty like light pink kind of flower trimming on it this is a little too loose oh and it has like kind of corset stuff it is a little too loose on me this is a 36 and i'm not but i plan on because i have done this to many bras before i'm going to measure like the back width and everything and i'm going to cut it and then re-sew it and then i plan on so I'm going to basically cut this part of your curiosity. So this part like that. So it's more fitted in the back. And then I'm going to cut this part of the straps. And I'm just going to take the extra strap right here and sew it. So it won't look like nobody will ever know that I highly doubt anybody's going to look at my problem. Like if you cut that and sewed it. But still. Okay, I did call this a grandma bra, and everybody's, well, not everybody, my mom's like, no, it's not. I'm gonna be like, oh, yes, everybody said that, and people are like, you share a bra to everybody? No. Is the sexiest thing I've ever put on my body? No. Does it make my boobs look jumbo sized and popping out? No. Is it soft? Yes. Is it comfy? Yes. And another good thing is, if you wear a bra, you understand the struggles. The straps, I think a lot of people say the thicker straps are better. These straps do not dig in my shoulders. I can't tell you how long I've dealt with, especially recently. I don't know what's going on. My straps want to dig into my shoulders, and it's quite painful. And I'm the kind of person that I see my bras. Yeah, I know, probably see them live, but whatever. But I do really, really like it, and it's really soft, so. Yeah. Next thing I got. I'm sorry if I keep saying next thing. Was this one piece bam suit? Never been wanting one of these actually. It's black and the lining is hot pink and has ruffles. And it has like little ruffles on the sides, which is what the bum looks like. I haven't tried this on. This is OP from Walmart. I haven't tried this on yet, but I'm planning on trying it on soon. I do wear a two piece that's fine and I will be wearing one piece does not matter it's what I like I'm not trying to be or anything I promise it's just should not matter like if everything is covered and like any look good and rock it whether it's a grandma's one piece or a string bikini whatever <laughs> but yeah it's really really cute too and it's my favorite color it's black it doesn't matter if it's hot, it's cold. I'm wearing black. It was really, really hot today, and I was wearing a black tank top. Yeah. The last thing I got was these headphones. They're holographic. I am a holosexual, so yeah. Toss them on yourself. I don't know what kind of headphones these are called, like the style. I call them DJ headphones because they remind me of them, but I know I'm wrong. If you'll follow me on Snapchat, y'all would know that, I mean, you already seen these. Sorry, I got the hiccups right now. That I have been wearing these a lot because I posted pictures on the Snap. The bad thing is, it is missing right here. The cover. I don't know. The person just gave them to me. I plan on buying some holographic, like, duct tape and then taping over this. The person that gave me these say that you can put batteries and hook a blue, like, hook your Bluetooth up to it and connect and play music like that, but I'm fine with just like having the aux cord. And the aux cord was also given to me and it's hot pink. I think it's pretty cool, like the holographic and the different colors, and, like the hot pink. These do hurt my ears a little bit, but I love them anyway because they don't have the phone. So I'm thinking about going on like Amazon or something and seeing if they have a phone recover, cover up these replacements. I don't know. And yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> so cool. Oh, and a quick disclaimer. 
the chargers. Um, this does work. I did plug. This is my mom's. I did plug this one in to, to try it out. And the box does work. The card is really long. I'm almost worried that it wasn't going to be long enough. And these are a no tangle cord. That's what it said on the box. So basically, you while well, I spend six bucks, three dollars for the USB cord himself, and three dollars on the box, whatever you want to call them, the plugs. And that's not bad because usually if you go to like Dollar General, Family Dollar, Walmart, at least where I am, these are about six to seven dollars even at the gas station when I literally spend six bucks on three chargers. That's not bad at all, and they do, like I said, they work. So, I hope, thank you all for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. I hope everybody's having a wonderful and safe night. And just know that I love y'all. If you want to follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, it's going to be in the description box below. If you have any comments, concerns, or you just want to say hey, leave it in the comments section, and I will get back to y'all as soon as I can. Bye, guys.